guys, I just wanted to pop on live uh, just quickly. I know it's a little late. It's about 10 to 9. But I wanted to um, share this with you because I think it's a neat recipe to have. And um, <clears throat> my good friend Jill had put this up in, if you were in her group, um, following um, the um, group that she was having of different ways that you can... Do some DIY recipes when necessary <clears throat> with essential oils. So, um, as most of you know, um, I work at a bank and I have been called to go back into the bank um, for this week um, to help service all those customers that need us right now during the pandemic and through COVID-19. Um, so it's going to be really um, busy um, over the next week. And um, sometimes hand washing is just not um, available like right away <clears throat> when we're dealing with customers constantly, constantly. We just don't have a sink and soap and water like right next to us at the wicket. So when we're dealing with people and we're dealing with customers, I need an easy and really, really effective way um, to sanitize, you know, like my hands and things like that until I can get to a hand washing. And of course, I always, always recommend hand washing. Um, I cannot stress it enough, um, especially being as part of the frontline workers. Um, I, I am at a bank, I am right on the front line, um, and I am serving those customers. So um, <clears throat> I, I also recommend that if you are heading out, please, 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 if you can stay home. Um, this is the plea that's coming from me. For me and my family, I still have to go out there. I'm an essential worker. Um, on top of um, being a um, an essential oil advocate, this is my, my other job. I am a bank employee. So I go out and I serve those customers um, as well and make sure that their banking needs um, get all handled as well. So I wanted to share with you um, a recipe. I'm, I was just kind of pouring some water and I was playing with a funnel um, earlier. But this is when hand and washing, washing your hands is not available. So that means if you're out and about, you're in your car, you're at the grocery store and, and places like that. I want to give you this recipe. This is a very, very neat idea. Very, very simple. You can carry it within your purse. And, I'm, and like I said, I'm going to stress enough that this is not to replace um, hand washing in any way. This is just a natural alternative that you can carry with you when hand and washing is not available. So it is um, a hand sanitizing recipe. Um, and I'm just gonna pull up the recipe here. So the thing with making your own hand sanitizer, sorry if I'm kind of in the way here. The thing with making your own hand sanitizer is you have to be really careful about the ingredients and the way that you're diluting it. So um, especially when you're looking at all those recipes that are out there on the internet, you have to be really careful um, on the type of rubbing alcohol that you get. So I highly recommend getting the alcohol um, with a 99% in it because when you're diluting um, the alcohol, you are actually bringing down um, um, the actual alcohol or the volume of the alcohol content that's actually in it. So the CDC actually recommends that you have to have above 60% and that's really, really important. So because we're diluting this alcohol, I highly recommend that you get the 99% when available, if you can, at least 91%. So the 99% uh, bottles, I actually got these in a pack of four. Um, you can buy them at Costco, and um, I think Costco has them. They are selling them by the box. You can get them for, I think it's like $11 for the box of four. Um, you can't buy boxes and boxes of them because... Obviously, this is an essential item for people, so they are recommending that you um, just buy one box for now. So the ingredient, what we're going to be using is the rubbing alcohol. And like I said, at least a minimum of the 91% uh, for the dilution, so at least go for 99% if you can find it. And we're going to use as well um, fractionated coconut oil, which I have here in a bottle, or you can use the doTERRA fractionated coconut oil that you can buy in your back office. And we're going to be using the essential oil on guard, which is what we call our protective blend. So the first in the ingredients, you are going to use 
um, I'm going to show you this bottle that I'm going to be using. So this bottle right here, this recipe calls for a 30 ml glass bottle. And you can buy these glass bottles um, on Amazon. You can buy them in a package and they come with a little spray top nozzle. So I'm just going to, I can't really find my other filter. So this is my big one. I'm just lodging it up to kind of make it still here a little bit. So just give me two, two seconds here. And it may or may not work, so we will see. Um, okay. So I'm just going to grab a glass just for one second. And I'm going to put my rubbing alcohol into here. So this will make it a whole lot easier for me to put it in. So the ingredients that we are going to be using is four teaspoons of the rubbing alcohol. So I'm just going to measure that out. I'm using a half a teaspoon because I can't find my teaspoon right now for some reason. Two... Three, four. So that's four right there. I'm just gonna put that right into my 30 ml bottle. So that's four teaspoons of the rubbing alcohol right there. And then I'm going to grab one teaspoon of fractionated coconut oil. And like I said, you can buy fractionated coconut oil in bulk. Um, make sure it is the fractionated coconut oil, or you can buy um, Deuteris fractionated coconut oil that comes in a bottle as well. And we are going to put one teaspoon of that fractionated coconut oil in there. There we go. So I'm just going to add that to my funnel. So I got the fractionated coconut oil in there. And now all I'm gonna do is put in 15 drops of On Guard, our protective blend, in with that. I'm gonna do. There we go. So I just put in the 15 uh, drops of the On Guard into my spray bottle. So if you're just watching and you're just coming on live right now, um, I'm heading in. Um, I have been called in as a substitute employee into the bank for tomorrow and I will be there all week. So when hand washing is not readily available, and for me being on the front line and serving customers, I don't have a sink and soap and water right next to me that I can wash my hands after every customer. Uh, we can go and do it periodically and we do have hand sanitizer, but I like to use the all natural hand sanitizer um, that's out there. So I'm kind of making my own hand sanitizer for me to go. So this is a 30 ml bottle that, um, that I got with a spray top. And if you're wondering where to get 30 ml bottles to with a spray top, you can buy them on Amazon. And you just use um, just four teaspoons of the rubbing alcohol. Highly recommend that you get the 99% um, alcohol content because you will be diluting it um, and you can get these bottles in a package of four at Costco and then you use just one teaspoon of the fractionated coconut oil to add to that bottle and then you're going to put in 15 drops of the On Guard essential oil into that mix and then you just give it a good shake and then when you're ready to spray it on just spray it on two to three times onto your hands and then you really give your hands like a really good rub all over for about 20 seconds, I would say. And then that's right then and there, that's a natural alternative when hand washing is not available. So I will have this with me when I go into the bank tomorrow um, on top of my hand washing routine when I can get there. Um, I could post this recipe for you or can send it to you if you want to have this recipe. Um, and I hope you guys have a great evening. I'm getting ready and I will chat with you in the week. Um, I just wanted to pop in and let you know that I am also hosting a um, online virtual class tomorrow um, starting at 8 p.m. So I have a separate group for that. It is posted, the link to the group is posted in my Little Drops group if you haven't received an invite yet. So I will be doing a live one-on-one uh, -on -one virtual class with you tomorrow all about using essential oils. And on Wednesday, I'm also doing another class as well at 8 p.m. And um, so if you can't make tomorrow night, 
you can join us on Wednesday. So I hope you guys have a great evening and um, follow me for more tips on my group and also on Instagram. Have a great evening.